Hi, I'm Ed Sperling. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Semiconductor Engineering. I'm over to Vantest with Derek Wu, who's going to talk today about concurrent test. Derek, what is concurrent test? Concurrent test means you test multiple circuit at the same time, so they can save you a lot of test time. And what does that do, and what, what's the value there? Is this something that's, that's new? Is it something that's being required more than in the past? It, the concept is not new, but before we don't have such hardware to do this uh, concurrent test. Recently, the ATE industry have developed some of technique, so we can utilize most of the resource at the same time, so that make this one uh, become rea real. And this goes along with the complexity and the density of the chips too, right? It's just getting more complex and there are just many more things to test than in the past. Yes, that's right. When the chip are getting bigger and bigger, especially there are a lot of big companies here that keep putting stuff into one single chip. And that once the chip are getting bigger, they need to modulize their the circuit, otherwise they cannot manage the project. Once they modulize the, the, their design, we have a chance to help them to, to become a concurrent testable uh, from the design point of view. Why don't you draw this out for us? Sure. So Derek, what are we looking at here? We are looking for a general design for a big circuit. We have a multiple uh, component in one circuit. For example, most of chip, right now everybody have a CPU, probably multiple core CPU, not just one. They can have a multiple. And they have a memory. For, for example, they have a flash memory or DRAM, whatever that is, to keep uh, to save some data in real time or just uh, keep for long term. And they also have an I.O. circuit. Uh, they can communicate with a low speed or high speed to the other circuit. And they no, normally they also have a mixed signal uh, component. They can measure the temperature. They can uh, measure the voltage within in the chip, so they can uh, guarantee the circuit is running at a very uh, high efficient. Also, there are some other logic they can help uh, this uh, CPU to do uh, many many stuff at the same time. So this is is this a standard SOC or is it um, uh, potentially an AI chip or a machine learning chip or all the above? Uh, it doesn't matter actually. All the chip has a similar uh, con similar um, concept, uh, either AI chip or uh, machine learning chip. The difference might be the CPU is different, or they might have a bigger memory. But they they always need to have a, a I/O uh, interface, or they, they must have some mixed signal uh, inside the circuit to make sure. Uh, especially in these days, when the chip are getting bigger, the temperature control is very important. So right now, a lot of design they have a internal uh, building a temperature monitor. And some of these chips are very large too, right? So does that make it harder to do the concurrent test? Actually, it's not. It's, it's a more chance for concurrent test to, to play in, in this kind of design. Because uh, in the traditional way, if they want to test uh, this big design, they need to uh, test all uh, each component individually and serially, and that really takes time. Then the concurrent test is a good it's a very good uh, concept for them to uh, create a test program um, that can help uh, the tester run all the tests in, in one, one single shot. So they really save test time. And this is all about throughput in the fab too, right? So you really want to be able to do as many as you can, as fast as you can, in order to cut the cost and time. Yes, yes. Especially if you are doing the test in serially, when you do the test one, the rest of the circuit basically they are idle. You don't want your uh, the million dollar tester is sitting idle there for several seconds waiting for the next test. One of the trends that we've seen is more packaging of different nodes, uh, pieces that are developed at different nodes. Does that affect the concurrent test? They do have uh, create some difficulty because uh, the way we communicate uh, to the rest of the IP chip within one uh, package, sometimes they, they, um, it's not easy to talk directly to those individual chips. So um, when they, uh, we will, normally we will recommend a customer when they put chip together, especially they buy some chip from uh, the other vendor, they have some test mode, so we can use those test mode to do the concurrent test. You're also dealing with very complex chips where they make it used differently by different people. So you may use a, a device differently than I do and different circuits may be on at the same time or at different times. Yes. How does that affect test? For example, the FPGA, there's no fixed logic. So everybody can configure their logic. And the good point for FPGA is uh, 
um, customer can configure logic, the tester also can configure their logic. If the designer gives us a certain way they want to test the chip, we can design the, the chip in a certain way, since the FPGA we just configure in a certain way, to help, uh, we help uh, the tester to do the concurrent test. And when we think about concurrent tests, we're doing a lot of things together. What is that, how does that differ from something like system level test? System level test means that your chip is not uh, a center stage. Your chip is just part of the entire thing. And on the, the test we are talking about right now is uh, we put a chip on the test head, on the tester. And the, this chip is the, the center stage of the testing. Everything is just focused on the single chip. But on the system level testing, basically you you force this chip to communicate with the other circuit on the same system board, and this makes sure your chip, when they go to the customer side, they are working correctly. Is there room for both in, in applications such as automotive and medical where they really are safety critical type of applications? Yes, people trying to move some of the system level testing into the tester um, point of view. And the concurrent tester, right now we are talking concurrent tester, can do several testing at the same time, they basically can help them to simulate what will happen on the system level testing. So you've drawn out multiple tests here. How do they actually go together? The first, uh, on the upper side, you will see a multiple test, but basically they test in serially. So the first test, uh, once they finish, then after they finish, we move to the next one. But if this one doesn't finish, we cannot move to the next one. The good point is that we can test each individually very clearly, uh, nothing uh, interference. But the bad point is that we need to uh, um, sacrifice some of test time. So what can go wrong when you test them all together? Um, some tests, some circuit, especially RF circuit, they can interfere to each other. So in that case, probably you cannot do uh, this type of, you cannot test them all at the same time. But in most of the circuit, memory circuit, logic circuit, or mix, the rest of the mixing of circuit, we can test them at the same time. Then they can really uh, save test time. So your test strategy has, has gotten more complicated as the chips have gotten more complicated, right? Yes. And um, when the chip gets more complicated, each designer, when they design their circuit, they, want, they always tell us what they want to test. And we need to accumulate all those requests into one uh, test program. But using the traditional way we put, they say normally one device can reach to 3,000, 4,000 test item, and probably each engineer can handle 100, so they need the many engineers to handle multiple portions of the program. But if we are using concurrent tests, actually some of the tests probably can combine together. So one engineer can handle more testing. They will really save their development time. Does this uh, fit into the design for test strategy, or is it done later on by the fab? Yes. So if um, most of the customer right now working with us, they will have a designer talk to us, uh, ask our uh, hardware structure or uh, ask our opinion, how to help them to reduce test time. Because right now, some uh, heavy circuit can take minutes to test. That's really, really cost, very cost uh, during the testing. What should it take? They basically, they can, they can put similar circuit, uh, either uh, design a circuit interface similar, so the tester can, using the same sim interface to talk to those circuit, they can uh, reduce our, uh, let's say, robot design, our um, interface uh, complexity. So you mentioned in the beginning that some of the components in here are mixed signal. That's increasingly part of the, the mix here as we get into more sensors and they're starting to do more edge computing. What does that do to the testing? How does that affect it? Um, most of the mixed signal testing basically are two portions. One is a measurement, either current measurement or voltage measurement. After measurement, we need to post-process those data. And sometimes we capture several thousand of data or several millions of data. Based on data size, the calculation takes a really long time. We can use a computer to uh, reduce the, the, com uh, the computation time, but still it takes time. And uh, the same uh, concurrent test, if you apply the concurrent test, this is the other uh, technology we can use from the test point of view. Let's say you measurement uh, one circuit or measurement one set of circuit, and right before you do the calculation, you can force the other set of circuit to start to do the measurement. So the calculation and the measurement can happen at the same time. And using this way, we can hide this calculation time. And this is one of uh, the other techniques, uh, part of the concurrent test. Any special skill set needed in order to 
do that? Do people need to learn something new that they didn't do in the past? No, no, no. It, it, this is exactly the same whatever they already know. We just, uh, from the tester, we have uh, some certain syntax we can shift uh, those, uh, those actions from the tester. So they, they just keep uh, whatever knowledge they have and they can just do their calculation routine, uh, uh, whatever they have already. We just help them a little bit, uh, just uh, modify their syntax and this one can be done uh, by tester automatically. Is there more risk of testing things together, of damaging the chip, versus doing things serially, or is it the same? In, in most cases, uh, most of the mixed signal circuit, um, I might have some other concern, but most of the mixed signal testing, just ADC or DAC, we can test them all of them uh, at the same time. Especially uh, recently, I know the LCD driver is really hot in, in Asia. Each chip have about 700 or even 1,000 ADC uh, chip, uh, ADC circuit in one chip. And in that case, the tester can do lots of measurement at the same time. It's a really, really safe test. Let's look at this from a higher level. What is the pro of doing this and what's the con? The pro is uh, the, the test cost. When the uh, chip are getting bigger and bigger, the test cost is a major concern. Uh, I know customers can sell their cheaper is very high price, especially sell to the military. It's really expensive. But for the commercial, the expensive cheaper doesn't doesn't uh, get you a good business. Yeah. So the good point is that we once we apply the concurrent test to such kind of device, we can save test time. They can uh, save the test cost. That's the first thing. The second thing is that. Uh, the concurrent test can accumulate, uh, just combine several similar tests uh, together in, in one shot. So they can uh, either, they can save the development time, they can also uh, help the engineer uh, organize, um, organize their um, strategy, testing strategy, and actually they can reduce the engineer, test engineer's uh, manpower. How about the negatives? The negative is uh, we need some hardware support from the design. If their design doesn't have this kind of uh, individual modular design, uh, this uh, concept cannot really uh, apply very efficiently. Yeah. So you really need to think about test as you're doing the initial architecture and design. Yes, that's very important. And I know a lot of people are talking about DFT for many, many years. But most of the DFT group is doing scan. That means uh, they put extra circuit on, on the existing circuit and try to uh, cover all uh, the gate. But that is quite different from whatever we talk uh, here in as a concurrent test. Uh, it's totally different uh, than, than uh, DFT. Derek Wu, thanks for a great explanation. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you.